How's Dennis, Mr. Carrington? He's doing better, Vivian. I wanted to go and visit him at the hospital, but Mr. Wheeler says it's better I should wait. Well, I guess she was right, Vivian. They've been for a while. Oh. So I made some Hill House cookies for him because those are is his favorite. Now I was wondering if you would take them for me. I'd be glad to. I'm sorry about what happened at the Top of the World Club the other night. I hope you're not mad at Mrs. Wheeler. She was trying to do what was the best for Dennis. I wish I could believe that. But I'm not sure that I do. Mrs. Wheeler told him from the very beginning she was against him showing that film. Well, then why on earth did she go along with it? Because I knew that was the only way I could get my hands on the film. If I had refused him, he'd only have found another way to show it. I'm going to go get those cookies now. Which is exactly what he did. Well, since you've told me what was going on, I could have stopped it. I thought I had everything under control. I didn't know he had another copy of the film. Iris, I, I didn't come here to talk about the porno film. Goodness for that. None of this would have happened at all if you hadn't taken up with that tramp stage. And I didn't come here to listen to you insult stage. Well, then why did you come here? I came to ask if you know a woman named Edith Oliver. Oh, of course I know Edith Oliver. She's from one of the oldest families in Houston. Did you ask her to withdraw the support of the Orphans Fund charity from the opening of Paige's boutique? Well, of course I told Edith not to sponsor the opening of Paige's Boutique. Why did you do that? Why? Isn't that obvious? Edith is a friend of mine. I would never forgive myself if I allowed her to become involved with a woman of Paige Marshall's caliber. Iris, I'm giving you fair warning. Oh, warn me all you like, Elliot. I'm not going to let my friend be used by that woman. Paige has put a great deal of money into this boutique. It is very important to her. And the Orphans Fund is very important to Edith Oliver. She has been chairman of the committee for 15 years. I think she would find it very difficult to raise funds when word got around that she was involved with the likes of Paige. Just what did you tell Mrs. Oliver about Paige? Oh, don't worry. I did not mention the porno film. I asked you what you told her. I told Edith that Paige had worked for me at the top of the World Club and that I'd found her to associate with, shall we say, unsavory types. Go on. Well, of course, I had to tell her that Paige had lived with Peter Parnell, who was arrested for trafficking in drugs, murdering a man named Stokes and my husband. I can't believe you, Vivian. You cannot deny it's all true, Elliot. Every word of it. I can't believe you were once my wife. Our marriage is something I prefer to forget when I see you carrying on with Paige. Paige has made mistakes, Iris. God knows we all have. But her mistakes are behind her. She's doing her best to build a new life. You have no right to tear that down. I have no objection to Paige's building a new life. Provided she does it someplace other than Houston. Is that Mr. Carrington? He left. I didn't give him these cookies. Yeah, I'll go over these uh, tonight then. Okay? Hey, Mr. Carrington. Hello. How's the news department holding up these days? Oh, it's all right. I hear the uh, ratings are still climbing on the Phil Roberts show. Well, they haven't been doing too bad. What can I do for you, Elliot? Well, I have a favor to ask you, Ben. I have a friend who's opening a shop in the Galleria, a high-fashion boutique. And you want me to uh, model for her? <laughs> well, not quite. I was wondering if you might be able to work her on to Phil's show sometime soon. Well, you're talking about Mrs. Carrington. Right. Mrs. Carrington? Oh, the woman we're talking about was married to my son, Dennis. Oh, yeah, I remember reading about him in the paper that murder business that Dennis was arrested Paige's for. arrest was a mistake, just as Dennis's was. Mrs. Carrington is one great lady. You'd like her a lot, Ben. I mean, she'd be great for the show. Well, uh, how soon do you need to have her on? Oh, uh, well, it really needs to be in the next three or four days if it's going to do any real good. I, 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 just, I just don't know. Well, would it help me to talk to Phil? Well, you see, that, that's just the problem. You see, Phil's not in any mood to talk to anybody about anything right now. There have been a couple of changes on the show, and he's not very happy about it. Oh, I see. Well, I don't want to make life difficult for you, but this is really very important to me. Well, 
I'll do the best I can, but I can't make any promises. I understand completely. I'll appreciate whatever you can do. Okay, you got it. Good. I'll check with Phil tomorrow, see what kind of mood he's in, and I'll get back, back to you right away. Good, thanks, Ben. Uh, Billy Joe, um, we can go over these commercials a couple of times before we tape them tomorrow. Oh, uh, sure, okay. fine. Has uh, Paige run into some trouble at the boutique? Yeah, she has. I just hope it's something we can remedy. I just have to find a way to help her. Oh. How's Nita been doing helping around the shop? Oh, she seems to be thriving on it. Paige says she couldn't have done it without her. Uh, did you know that they made me co-host the Phil Roberts show today? No, I did. Well, congratulations. <laughs> I think that's great. Well, thank you very much. The reason I'm bringing it up is I, I think I just might be able to help Paige get on the show. Oh, what do you want? I'm sure this is not a social call. I want to get several things straight with you. Oh, I already got the message from Mrs. Oliver, thank you, if that's what you're referring to. Elliot just paid me a visit. His concern for you is touching. He wanted to know if I was the one who convinced Edith not to sponsor the opening of your boutique. Oh, before you say anything, let me assure you that it most definitely was I. Just in case there was any lingering doubt in your little mind. Oh, I didn't have any doubts whatsoever, Iris. It's exactly the kind of cheap shot that I expect from you. It had your stamp all over it. But it wasn't a cheap shot. It was very open and above board, which is what I'm being with you now, Paige. I don't want to keep it a secret from you or anyone else. There are other charities besides the Orphans Fund. Actually, it was their loss, not mine. Yes, there are other charities. But unfortunately, most of them are headed by friends of mine. Or Edith. I don't think you'll have much success with them. We'll see about that. I'd like to make a suggestion. Why don't you just throw in the towel now and save everyone a great deal of trouble? You'd really like that, wouldn't you, Iris? Very much. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I have no intention of giving up. I've invested a great deal of money in this boutique, actually, everything I own in the world. Not you, nor Edith Oliver, nor all of the wealthy phonies in Houston are going to stop me on this one, Iris, because I'm going to make it work. We'll see about that. I think you're overestimating yourself. You're going to pay for what you did to my son. I already paid for that. The price wasn't high enough. I told you before, I want you out of Houston, and I'm not going to stop until you're gone. You're going to lose everything with this boutique page. I'll see to that. Mark my words, honey. 